My mother would slap me in my face. Welcome in everybody. This is the cadence. We back on something else. That's um, yeah, yeah. This is the cadence. I don't really know too much about it. Let's start it. Hope y'all doing good. Hope y'all doing amazing. We into it. We into it. I Anita, take you, Dean, to be my husband. For better, for worse, in sickness and in health, till death do us part. Till death do us part. <laughs> I don't like that. Who is that? There's a shadow down there. Anniversary. Hey, honey, I'm coming home from work soon. Had to stay late to finish. Can you set the table on the counter before you settle in? Set the counter? Yeah, I'll set the counter before I settle in. But who is that? Um, That's over there. Uh, it seems like we have black mold in our house, too. I don't think- You. We just- we just getting started. We just getting started, and you already just trying to screw us. We're setting the counter. I don't know how much time we have. I don't know if we're time. It sounds like we are time because of the clicker and the timer is going off in the background. So, I'm trying to do this. I don't know what we got to place, but it seems like we got to place silverware. Okay, got you. Okay, so we're setting the table and stuff for us to eat, right? All right. Okay, cups. All right. At the phone. Your ring? Hey, honey, you keep on forgetting. You keep taking your ring off. Uh, okay, we'll do it now. You keep taking your ring off. I'm hoping it's in because you're getting in the shower. Alright. About to say, why are you taking your ring off? That's not making any sense to me. Alright, Miss Ma'am, where is your jewelry box? I don't know. Like, what? You have been desensitized. Yeah, I think I have been desensitized to horror. I have a little bit. I've been playing a, quite a bit of horror now. Definitely getting desensitized. This is the second time this week. I have to clean this up before she gets home. Second time, nigga? You got ghost? Nigga, you got a ghost? Dean, I forgot my keys. Can you unlock the back door for me? That's not you. I'm dead. I'm dead. I am dead. They definitely do something about that mold. Oh, I didn't even see it. They got blue mold up there, too. Honey, I'm home! Honey? Demon, I'm home! Demon? Honey, I'm home! Oh, hey, Dean. Can you clean the mess you left in the living room? You left your books all over the table. Yeah, my fault. What mess? <sighs> Fine, give me a second. I mean, I don't remember really doing this for real, but my fault, you know, sometimes I forget things. I'm not the, I'm not the best. I kind of got short term memory. I kind of be moving on to other things rather quickly. It's not my fault, but my fault, Miss Ma'am. Uh, I'll definitely work on that. Definitely work on that, Miss Wifey. Locked <laughs> shit to be unseen, unseen, taking her wedding ring off. I mean, maybe it's because you're getting in the shower, but is it really because you're getting in the shower or? What was that? Can you check it out? Can you come out here and check it out with me? Y'all got mold on the floor too? Goddamn, where do y'all live at? So there's more mold. Honey, I'm scared. We got mold. What was that? Can you check it out? Honey, it's mold. 
dear Dean. Hope this letter finds you well and that you are finding the strength to keep your head up after these past couple of days. I wanted to write you today because I'm very concerned about your well-being. Especially after this traumatic event. Cannot feel your pain as much as you do, but please be aware that I'm always here for you as a friend and someone you can lean on. Don't tell me his wife died. I have not heard from you lately. I am worried that you're struggling to cope with everything. Remember that you do not have... You should not burden this alone. I understand that someone going through what you have, oh my God. Through what you have, will find it difficult to take care of themselves, but please help in mind that we have your best interest at heart and pushing us away will only hurt you more in the long run. Don't hesitate to reach out your best friend, Baptize. I hope she likes to see her gift. Better hide it in the closet before she gets home. Okay, maybe your wife is still alive. All right. What happened? What happened? Talking about... What is your best friend talking about? I didn't even know you had a best friend. Your best... I didn't leave the bedroom like this. Oh, shit. I did not leave the bedroom like this. Demon! <laughs> I bite and I lick. Oh shit. Who the hell is dragging the ass across the floor? Ass the ass. You know I see a black ass. You black as hell. And you dirty. You dirty and black. Wash your ass. Anita, are you okay? Not now. Oh, that's your dirty I need space ass. To breathe, please. You're suffocating me. I'm suffocating you. Your dirty oh, ass is dragging your ass me. across the floor. That must be your other half, huh? You didn't tell me you had the other half when I first started talking to you. You know, if you told me this, I probably would have never even talked to you in the first place, let's be honest. Open the damn door. Open his damn door. I'm sick and tired of your shit. I said leave me alone. <sighs> Yo, demon friend's right behind me, ain't- I swear, Anita was here. I- I heard her. Yeah. Um, I think we're screwed. I think we're screwed. Can I just close the door? Is that a thing I can do? Possibly. Miss Dirty Ass, if you come out rubbing your ass cheeks on the floor some more, I promise you there will be a problem. I was not raised this way. My mother would slap me in my face. <laughs> ah. Dear Dean, we hope you find this letter. We were writing to address a matter that's come to your attention. You're not there, are you? I'm about to say, can you fuck off? <laughs> oh, I don't know what you're talking about, Nymph. We hope to find this letter finds you well. We are writing to address a matter that's come to our attention. Regrading your recent absence from work for six days. Without prior notice or explanation as an integral part of our team. Your presence and commitment to your responsibilities are crucial for the smooth operation of this company. We kindly request that you provide us with an explanation for your absence during the possessor specified period. This will enable us to understand the circumstances surrounding your absence and explore the potential ways to address any challenges you may be facing. To avoid a negative impact on your professional development and the overall functioning of our team, we kindly request that you adhere to our attendance policy moving forward. We encourage you to schedule a meeting with your manager, Juliet, at your earliest convenience due to Discuss your recent absence and underlying concerns. Um, sorry to tell you, but I've been walking through a couple of doors and I don't know where the fuck I'm at now. I'm a drunk. Oh, his wife died. I'm picking up the story. You can't drown it out with drinking, brother. That's not how we do this. That is not how we do this. Wow. So is a mole supposed to be your mindset? It just gets foggier and foggier. Moving day. 
We took this picture when we first moved here. Bring back memories in the beginning. Unless she just left your ass. But if she left your ass, then that's even a better reason to just fucking boss up. Your ass is just sad. We're not the first to live in this apartment. We're not to be the last, but we'll be the last one. We'll be the ones who never leave. We'll be the ones to never leave. The demon got your wife. The demon got your... Oh. Ah! Alright, you gave me the chills there. I ain't gonna lie, game. You did that. You did that. You still suck, though. Oh, God. Okay. It's clean. My picture's cut out. Tamper with. Funeral service. She did die. Or did I die now? Hold up. Wait a minute. Who died? Her? Right? I ain't playing with you in all these damn doors. There's too many damn doors. None of the doors work. I hate... It's black. Need to cry on the voicemail. How is she crying on the voicemail? She dead. You cut out your own picture? Or did the mode just get on your picture? I bet 200 on it. Oh, when they were fighting at the beginning, I completely blocked that out of my head. You look as beautiful as you did four years ago. So they did get married. I'm sorry, Anita. I can't let you go. We'll be together forever. Even death could do us part. What does that mean? What the fuck?